Okay, so now in this section, we are going to find the partial differential equation, uh, which is uh, for the surfaces of the type f of uv is equal to 0, where what is u? u is a function of x, y, z, and v is also a function of x, y, z and z as usual is always a function of x comma y so we are going to find partial differential equations for such type of surfaces in this particular section now what is the simplest example of this so once i understand that then i'm free to derive the partial differential equation uh, suppose I take uh, u equal to say which is x minus z which is a function of x y z y is not there and let me take v is equal to the function y minus z so what f I will choose here is let me write f is uh, f which is a function of u comma v and I'm going to equate it to 0 b b here let me take that function is u minus uh, v square and let me equate it to zero so i'm looking at what uh, what surface now the surface i'm looking is x minus z minus y minus z whole square is equal to zero so this surface i'm going to look and i'm going to find out a partial differential equation which uh, which has this surface as one of its solution okay so family of uh, all such surfaces so f can be anything so i have just taken one example of this okay so what is the partial differential equation for such type of surfaces so in this section i hope now it is understood that what type of surfaces are we going to consider they are f of uv equal to zero where u and v are functions of x y and z now look at this particular surface this surface is x minus z minus y minus z whole square equal to zero so this is how this surface is going to look so i'm rotating it so that you can have a clear idea how it looks like a parabolic uh, parabola a sheet of parabola i will say and this is how the surface looks like so you have seen this surface now okay now let us go for the actual problem so I will say consider u is equal to like u of x y z u is a function of x y z and v is also a function of x y z and z is, equal, is also a function of x y and let f be a function of u and v then the partial differential equation for surface f of uv equal to zero is given by p jacobian of uv with yz plus q jacobian of uv with zx and that is equal to jacobian of uv with respect to x y okay so we are going to show that such surfaces always are solutions of this type of partial differential equation so how am i going to prove this so let me see. now what is given to us is that f of uv is equal to zero remember that u and v are functions of x y z and in that z is again a function of x comma y so now i have to differentiate f with respect to 
x so differentiate with respect to x let me call this equation star so what is the derivative of f with respect to x partially so it will be dabba f by dabba u into the derivative of u with respect to x now u depends on three people so dabba u by dabba x 2x by 2x plus dabba u by dabba y 2 2y by 2x plus dabba u by dabba z into dou z by 2x so this was of f for u similarly dabba f by dabba v into v is also function of three people so dabba v by dabba x 2x by 2x plus dabba v by dabba y dabba y by dabba x plus dabba v by dabba z to dabba z by dabba x and this all is equal to zero correct now look at the quantities here carefully these is one these two terms are zero this term is p because do z by do x is p so when i write this carefully i will get f u into u x plus u z p plus f v into v x plus v z p is equal to zero and therefore f u upon f v will be equal to what minus of v x plus v z p upon u x plus u z p so this equation i will call one if i similarly do differentiation of that equation star with respect to y i'm going to differentiate the equation star with respect to y what will i get i will get f u upon f v will be equal to how much minus v y plus v z q upon u y plus u z q so this is the equation that i will get when i differentiate the equation with respect to y now i will compare one and two so the left hand sides are same so this means that these two quantities will become equal and therefore what will i get i will get vx plus vz p upon ux plus uz p is equal to vy plus vz q upon uy plus uz q and now i will simplify them so when i simplify them what will i get i will get vx uy plus vx uz q plus vz uy p plus uz vz p q this is equal to vy ux plus vy uz p plus vz ux q plus uz vz p q the last terms will cancel each other now i will collect all the people of p on the left hand side and people of q on the left hand side what will i get here when i write this i will get uy vz minus uz vy plus q times uz 
vx minus ux vz is equal to on the right hand side i will have this quantity and this quantity which is ux vy minus ui vx and therefore i will write this as p into the determinant of u y u z and what will i get here you will get a vz and here i will get a vy so this determinant comes up to be this plus q times this determinant is u z vx minus ux vz is equal to the determinant of the right hand side is ux vy minus ui vx so this is nothing but p into the jacobian of uv with respect to yz plus q into the jacobian of uv with respect to zx and this right hand side is jacobian of uv with respect to x comma y so this was the partial differential equation we were hoping for so this partial differential equation is a solution is a partial differential equation for for which types of surfaces for the surfaces of the type f of uv equal to zero where u v are functions of x y and z okay now we will take the example that we have discussed above so what was that example i was taking f of x minus z and y minus z equal to 0 so find a partial differential equation for surfaces of this type it means that i am supposed to eliminate this f from the picture correct so here if you compare this with the above part here you will understand that u is x minus z and v is y minus z therefore the surface is of the form f of uv is equal to zero so this means that this surface will have uh, will have a partial differential equation what it will be this partial differential equation so it simply means that i am supposed to calculate this jacobian this jacobian and this jacobian okay i will show you one jacobian so what is the jacobian of uv with yz is equal to determinant of ui uz vy vz and this is nothing but what is u equal to u is x minus z and v is y minus z so what is the partial derivative of u with respect to y it is 0 uz will be minus 1 vy will be 1 and vz will be again minus 1 so this jacobian this determinant comes up to be 1 fashion if you calculate the jacobian of uv with respect to z in so and what about the right hand side jacobian that right hand side jacobian d of uv with respect to x comma y that jacobian will also turn out to be one and therefore when i substitute in the obtained pde substitute to get what will you get the first jacobian was p into the jacobian that is one plus q into the second jacobian also came up to be one and right hand side jacobian also came up to be one so i get the partial differential equation is what p plus q is equal to one must be the partial differential equation i hope you got this how i've got got uh, this step so wherever i substitute those jacobian in this equation so this came up to be one this also came up to be one and this right hand side also came up to be one so we got pd what we got the pd p plus q is equal to zero okay 
not every time you will get the things so easy. So it may be a little bit complicated uh, calculation also sometimes. So let me take one more example on this. So example, I want to find a PD which has the solution of surfaces of the form f of x plus y and x minus root of z equal to 0. So now I hope you understand that we have to first calculate the Jacobian. So who is u over here? The function u is x plus y. The function v is x minus square root of z and therefore the Jacobian of uv with respect to yz must be found. The Jacobian of uv with respect to zx must be found. And the Jacobian of uv with respect to xy also must be found. This is revealed. This is one. This is a minus one. Here after computations, you will get to be one upon minus two root z. And the second Jacobian will come up to be 1 upon 2 root z. So when I substitute in the given in the obtained PD, what will you get? You will get minus 1 upon 2 root z p plus 1 upon 2 root z q is equal to what? It's equal to minus 1. So I'll shift these quantities on that side. So I'll get minus p plus q is equal to minus 2 root z which equally means that p minus q is equal to 2 root z will be the required partial differential equation. In the next section we are going to discuss problems which are based on functional dependence. Now, what we will do is we will take a function v, which is a function of x and y, okay, and let uh, u be equal to some function of this v, okay. This h function is a differentiable function. And now we will try to find a partial differential equation which is uh, satisfied by u. So to find a PD satisfied by this function u. Now how are we going to do this? So firstly what we will do is we will consider the equation u equal to h of v okay and we will differentiate this with respect to x now u is a function uh, on v but v depends on what v depends on x and y so if i want to differentiate u i have to go through h and v both so how will I differentiate u with respect to x? So when I do that, I will write u x so dabba u by dabba x is equal to derivative of h with respect to x with respect to v and the partial derivative of v with respect to x because h is a function of only one variable. So here I have the derivative of h. It's not a partial derivative. Similarly, when I want to find a partial derivative of, of u with respect to y, again u is nothing but u is nothing but h. So what will that become? So it is derivative of h with respect to v into dv by dy. Right. So this means that when I calculate what is dh by dv from the first equation, it is nothing but ux upon vx and when I look for here what is dh by dv here dh by dv is nothing but ui upon vy 
therefore when i compare them what will i get on comparing i will get ux upon vx is equal to ui upon vy correct and therefore ux vy minus ui vx is equal to zero is the equation that we are getting that is i'm trying to say that the jacobian of uv with respect to the variables x and y has to be equal to zero so this equation this is the partial differential equation for what this is a partial differential equation for which variable for u okay now let us see one simple example so that you will understand what exactly i am trying to tell you so for example take u equal to 2x square plus sorry take v equal to 2x square plus 3y square plus 1 so here v is function of what v is a function of x and y and let u be equal to log of v take u is what log of v so what is u equal to so u is equal to log of 2x square plus 3y square plus 1 so here i am saying that u is h of v okay so now uh, what is the partial differential equation satisfied by u so what is the pde satisfied by u so as seen above the pd satisfied by u is given by what ux vy plus uy vx is equal to zero so it is ux vy plus minus uy vx is equal to zero which is a jacobian and what is this is ux into what is vy what is the derivative of v with respect to y it is 6y minus ui and what is vx what is the partial derivative of v with respect to x it is 4x is equal to 0 so the partial differential equation that i'm getting is what the partial differential equation for u is 6y dabba u by dabba x minus 4x dabba u by dabba y is equal to 0 this is the partial differential equation for which u for u equal to u equal to log of 2x square plus 3y square plus 1 okay so this means that uh, the sur the for surface for the surface if i say z equal to log of 2x square plus 3y square plus 1 the partial differential equation representing this surface is what 6y dabba u by dabba x minus 4x dabba u by dabba y equal to 0 this surface is a very interesting surface so you see that this is the surface z equal to log of 2x square plus 3y square plus 1. Let us take one more question. So suppose I am taking, so consider v equal to square root of x square plus y square. And I'm going to consider the function u, which is h of v, which is sine v square upon v. So this means that u is equal to sine of x square plus y square upon square root of x square plus y square. So now this is a surface and I want to find a partial differential equation which is satisfied by this 
surface. Now this is a very interesting surface. This surface is uh, as follows. So you can see that this surface is sine is a sine of x square plus y square upon square root of x square plus y square. Uh, the maximum value of this surface is uh, 1 because we know that sine theta upon theta as theta tends to 0 is 1. So x square plus y square tends to 0, 0. So it, it is of the form sine theta upon theta where theta tends to 0. So this is the sur surface. It looks like waves of water and the waves are steadily diminishing because as xy tends to infinity, the ratio sin x square plus y square upon x square plus y square that will tend to zero. So as we observe that as xy tends to zero zero, the function u, which is limit of xy tending to zero zero of sin x square plus y square upon square root of x square plus y square what was it as x x and y were tending to 0 0 it was tending to 1 but as x and y tend to infinity what happens as x and y become large what will happen this square root of x square plus y square will tend to infinity and what happens to the sine function sine is sine of x square plus y square is a bounded function right and therefore what will be the ratio therefore the ratio sine of x square plus y square upon square root of x square plus y square will steadily tend to zero so as x and y go to infinity the function u becomes what the function u tends to zero right and therefore what is the partial differential equation satisfied by this particular no, the, this particular surface we know that we have written that this surface can be written in the form of u is equal to hv where what is the function v the, where the function of v is what square root of x square plus y square and what is that pd it is dabba u by dabba x into vy minus dabba u by dabba y into vx is equal to zero and this is nothing but dabba u by dabba x into vy what is the partial derivative of this with respect to y the partial derivative of this person with respect to y will be 1 upon 2 root uh, square x square plus y square into 2x plus sorry minus dabba u by dabba y 1 upon 2 root x square plus y square into 2y is equal to 0 so this 2 2 is cancelled out and therefore you are getting dabba u by dabba x into x minus dabba u by dabba y into y is equal to 0 so this is the partial differential equation which is satisfied by that uh, surface so in the next section, we are going to discuss about Euler's equation for homogeneous functions. So let us quickly have a review of this. So firstly, we all know that if I have a function f of x, y of two variables, then when is this function said to be a homogeneous function so if I if I have a lambda and n where n is said to be the degree of that homogeneous function then that function should satisfy the property that f of lambda x comma lambda y should be equal to lambda power n f of x y if such a thing holds then i will say that this function is a homogeneous function of uh, x and y of degree n okay so what are the simple examples of this one simple example is let me take f of x y 
equal to say sine of x upon y where y is not equal to zero okay so is this a fun is this function a homogeneous function and what is the degree so i will write f of lambda x lambda y is equal to sine of lambda x upon lambda y and this is nothing but sine of lambda sine of x upon y okay so so this is nothing but lambda power zero sine of x upon y so this means this function is a homogeneous function of degree zero let me take one more example so if i take a very famous function this function is f of x y is equal to x square plus y square upon square root of x square plus y square so i will say that suppose this i call it as z this is x square plus y square upon square root of x square plus y square so this is actually equation of a surface okay is this uh so how does this surface look is it a smooth surface or is it a surface which is having some vertices so this surface actually looks like this see that this is a a conical shape and you see that this surface has a vertex at origin okay so this suggests me that this surface cannot be a uh, dysfunction or this surface has a vertex at origin so i will i will not be able to differentiate the function at which point at the point zero zero this function will have a problem in the differentiation okay let us check the homogeneous whether it's homogeneous or not so what is f of lambda x and lambda y it is lambda square x square plus lambda square y square upon square root of lambda square x square plus lambda square y square okay so this means that when i cancel out one of the lambda it will be lambda times x square plus y square upon square root of x square plus y square so this means that this is lambda times f of x y and therefore this function is the function is the homogeneous function of uh, degree how much of degree one because you have a lambda power one okay suppose i take the function f of x y is equal to x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square okay what is the value of the function at zero you know the value of the function at zero will come out to be zero because uh, because limit of x y tending to zero zero of this particular function is going to be how much it is going to be equal to zero you have to use polar coordinates x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sine theta so that you will get this limit is how much this limit is zero so this function looks a uh, good function let's see this function quickly okay so this is the function x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square if you look at the origin carefully okay in the in, in one of the quarter region it is becoming negative and to the opposite of that quarter region it will become positive and uh, so we really have to check whether this function can be differentiated at origin or not for the time being this function uh, we are not sure about the differentiability of it but we understand this is a homogeneous function in x and y as per our definition okay so now let us move to a very important theorem which is called as euler's theorem for such homogeneous function but the function must be your a differentiable function okay it must be homogeneous as well as a differentiable function so what is euler's theorem for homogeneous functions so that theorem states that if um, z is equal to f of x y is a homogeneous function of x and y okay 
and it is and the first partial derivatives fx and fy they must exist okay then we it satisfies uh, the equation x dabba f by dabba x plus y dabba f by dabba y must be equal to n f what is n n is the order okay where n is because the function is homogeneous so it will have some uh, sorry degree n is so where n is the degree of f right so so if i want to write euler's, euler's theorem for homogeneous functions at least the first partial derivatives should exist okay so this euler's theorem i will not be able to apply in the case of the previous example that i shown you at origin you know the cone the conical cap that we've seen okay this uh, that will have a problem while uh, while writing writing dab f by dab x and dab f by dab y so one should be careful so let me take one simple example so suppose i take uh, the function f of x y is equal to what x square plus y square plus x y so is this function homogeneous yes if i put f of lambda x lambda y you will clearly see of the calculation it is lambda square times f of x y so this f is homogeneous function of uh, degree 2 okay and uh, this function actually looks like this so this function looks uh, like a uh, paraboloid right so you see at uh, at all the points it is extremely smooth functions and right so by euler's theorem what uh, what will be the pd that this equation uh, this function will satisfy the partial differential equation that this function will satisfy will be what x into dab f by dab x plus y into dab f by dab y will be equal to how much 2f because uh, here the degree of f is how much 2 so your degree is n which is equal to 2 so this is the partial differential equation that this function will satisfy right suppose i take one more example of uh, which is also very nice to see if i take the function f of x y is equal to x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 upon x square plus y square clearly the function what is the value of the function over here the value of the function here is obviously zero because what is the limit of x y tending to zero zero again by polar coordinates this will come out to be how much this will come out to be zero the function so the function is defined at uh, at all points even at zero zero the value of the function is how much zero right this is how the function uh, looks like you see that it is smooth everywhere it is a very smooth surface even at the origin you will have a nice uh, smooth turn over there so there is no vertex at origin so this function is a different at least first partial derivatives of this function do exist as far as the picture is concerned okay so by euler's theorem so we get by what do you get by euler's theorem that again it will satisfy what type of uh, differential equation we have to write x fx plus uh, y fy is equal to n f what is n over here this function is a homogeneous function can you see that what is f of lambda x lambda y when you calculate and you put lambda is to 4 plus lambda is to 4 x is to 4 y is to 4 upon lambda square x square y square so we'll get lambda square f of x y so this though the the degree of the homogeneous polynomial is uh, homogeneous function is 2 so this function will satisfy the partial differential equation x dabba f by dabba x plus y dabba f by dabba y is equal to 2f right so so what is the importance of uh, euler's theorem in uh, partial differential equations course if as soon as you see of a homogeneous function of degree n that particular function will always satisfy a partial differential equation which is of what which is of the form x fx plus y fy is equal to nf okay